Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And I'm just checking in on you. Haven't been able to do that in a while. You know why? Because this old freckles finally went to the doctor. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got some pneumonia in my freckled lungs. Sorry. Um, anyway, as promised, you know, I mentioned on the Monday morning podcast that um, I felt a certain way about the way the lovely Nia was or possibly was not taking care of me. Oh, Mwah. we're backtracking a little. Huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Go ahead. Yes. Well, I, I didn't want to just hit the ground running. Sure. I, want, I wanted to give you a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm teasing it here, Neil. Okay. I'm okay. a professional. Yeah. You know, there was, you know, a moment there where... Professional asshole. Where, <laughs> <laughs> where, you know, how I, there's a thing out there that women say a lot is that guys are babies... When they're sick, and at one point you said to me that you felt I was being dramatic, and I'm laying in bed and I'm thinking to myself, like, I have fucking pneumonia. Like, you first of all, I didn't say that you were being dramatic. I said that you were having a pity party, and also this is before we knew that you had pneumonia. So can we just jump in? Yeah, and what was my pity party? All right, I will explain that. See, first of all, just relax. No, I'm not relaxed. Oh, shit. Come on here and defend myself because I didn't listen to your little trash ass podcast on Monday, but I know (laughs) what you said about me, okay? I didn't say anything. Let me explain something. (laughs) I said a few things. God. Um, Let me explain a few things, okay? Please do. Because I'm a little confused over here. Yeah, you're very confused about a lot of things. Oh, snap. When you get sick, who's all over you trying to get you better? And don't say nobody, because we know that that's not true. That's the first answer I thought of. Really? I'm always bringing you water, bringing you tea. Take this, take this, take this. And you're like, what? What is this? What are you having me take? What does it do? What? Like, you just, you're always <laughs> pushing back. I tell you, rest. You need to just chill out. You need to do nothing all day. You are crazy, and you can't do that. You're like, ah, I'm going to go play drums for like half an hour. You're out there for an hour. Boo, ba, boo, ba, boo, do ba, boo, boo. And it's just like, <laughs> you're not taking the time to. And then when I oh. get sick, I'm like, shut everything down. I don't do shit. I can feel how annoyed you are at me. But that's why I get over stuff quickly. I don't get annoyed at so, you when you get sick. You get annoyed at me. I can tell you have like a little like thing with me where I'm like, I have a cough. I'm not going to do anything. And you're kind of looking at me like, ooh, because you and your scrunch your shoulders up like that whole thing that you do, that whole German Irish, let's just plow through it type of thing. And I can be feeling miserable, but I won't do anything about it. That's the thing. You won't do anything about it. You really thought about this. Make you, because I was going to come on here and defend myself. Whenever you get sick, I am always telling you, you need to drink more water. Take this and take that. You're always pushing back on me. You never listen to me about just being still and resting and trying to sleep. You're on your phone. What is this? You're on your phone or computer watching your 10th, like, you know, uh, top 10 crocodile attacks from 2017 or whatever weirdo videos. It's a great year for crocodile attacks. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever weirdo videos you're watching or with some monotone guy being like, Jimi Hendrix was bored and blah, 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 blah. And like doing some weird, like, documentary things that you watch on YouTube. You're not really resting yourself and you don't get better. So you had a cold to begin with. You had a cold. Yes. And a respiratory infection. No. Who said that? Did you go to a doctor? No, I went on the Until internet. Until I and made that, you and go that. to urgent care? First of all, the, the reason... You went on the, the internet and the, what? You went on the internet and what? Well, people told me that there was that R... People who? People who got sick. Okay. Said that there was that, that thing that wasn't COVID, because at first I thought I had COVID, and then it wasn't COVID, but I could feel it was in my chest, and they said there's something going around... It, it's a cough that lasts for 10 days. It's a, it's a respiratory virus thing. It's RSV. RSV. So I feel like I had that. And because I was editing a fucking movie yes. and doing a stand-up tour mm-hmm. and getting ready for fucking Thanksgiving in the holiday season, doobie doobie do. Uh-huh. I didn't have time mm-hmm. to go to the doctor. Okay. Fine. You didn't have time that's, to go to the doctor. That's what I was saying. Because we thought we were just sort of dealing with, yeah, an RSV cold situation. But I did tell you. Wait a minute. We didn't think that. Worse. I just told you that I had that. And now you're acting like you were in on that. Okay. I just thought that you had a cold. And then, yes, it developed into pneumonia because you had to go on the road. And you had to do this. But did you or did you not tack on a Vegas trip after your last tour? 
The Vegas trip was already on the books. Okay. My buddies from high school, we came out. I, I, you know, they don't give you tickets anymore. It's all on your phone. It was all on my phone. Okay. If I didn't go out there, that was going to happen. And then I stayed at Bally's Total Fitness fucking <laughs> casino. And for whatever reason, the heat wasn't working in my room. And they had the air conditioning cranked because it was switching over from Bally's to the horseshoe. It's now called horseshoe. They had horseshoes in the carpet. Did like, you ask anybody to like come up and like fix the I thing did. And I around? did, and they did. And how many cigars did you smoke on that trip? One. Okay. Then you came. I home. didn't know I had pneumonia. That's of course you didn't know that you had pneumonia. I was then over at Caesars, home. and they treated me right, dude. And then you came home, and you had another outing that you did with some family. How many cigars did you smoke then? Three quarters of one. Three quarters of one. Okay. Now. That's like nothing for me. The next day, I told you, because you were feeling terrible, you were coughing violently. Your head, I told you to go Why to Why was it violently? Care. You were coughing violently. I had a really bad like, cough. Well, that seems no, like you're the victim in that. Cough. It feels like no, you're the victim. No, no, it's not about victims. It's about like how harsh it was. You were coughing violently. You were coughing like you had the fucking plague. I said to you, you should go. I was coughing so to, hard, I got a headache. Yes. I told you, you should go to urgent care. You went out and had coffee with some people instead. And I said to you, while I wasn't going to go to urgent care while my family was in town and make them fucking sit there for three hours while some guy gave me penicillin. But while you were, while they were here visiting, you did go upstairs and you were in your room for like three hours chilling out as you should have. But I'm just saying, if you were willing to spend that time to do that here, you could have gone to urgent care. You didn't No, but he was leaving the next day. So I, 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 I went then. I went then. Okay. I went there. But what is this shit? Where I, when, when was I being like overly dramatic or having a pity party? Because oh, I remember. I remember because I was fucking sick and you don't stop your plans. You still go out. <laughs> you put on your big Elton John glasses and your Happy New Year hat. You're like, OK. And you drop a cup of fucking Alka-Seltzer in a fucking glass of water. And then all of a sudden you're Florence Nightingale. So what, but what more am I supposed to do for you other than make sure you have what you need? And then like, oh, le- like you wait, you wait till you get no, pneumonia no, no, and no, I no, still no, go out. No, no, no. You wait till I get pneumonia. You... I still go out. And then when you bitch about it, no. I say you're having a pity party. No. No. What I do you mean no? There's no no there. There's no no there. There's no no there. You started going on about how I wasn't taking care of you and this and that and the other when that was You not sent true. up that fucking airport level fucking room temperature untoasted oh, we're bagel. Talking about the bagel? We're talking that, about the bagel. And I had to ask our daughter to go down and get me something to eat. I pulled up the text messages of when you asked me for a bagel, I texted you two minutes later because, uh, by the way, I was setting up a whole bagel platter for your family and feeding our children because you were upstairs sick. I answered you two minutes later and I said, do you want just the bagel or do you want capers and logs and a bagel sandwich? And you said bagel sandwich. So I made it. I gave it to our daughter. She brought it up to you while I could stay downstairs. with That our bagel did not family. come until I asked our daughter to go downstairs and get it. She didn't text or no it. text. She didn't ask me for it. Well, maybe she forgot to ask me for it but I'll she agree didn't to disagree but I can tell you right no, no, now I felt I you talked about it before <laughs> and now you're trying to switch I it up I felt like I was flying Southwest Airlines that level the, that that fucking bagel looks like it was in somebody's back well, pocket I didn't make the bagel of course I you didn't like, <laughs> you post made it I didn't somebody brought it over and I like reheated it and made a whole bagel sandwich the point is my point is with you when it comes don't to fucking being point sick, your face at me <laughs> if you're sick you will still go out and do the things that you want to do. It's called working and providing for a family. No, I'm not talking about work. I'm talking about every other little extracurricular thing that you think that you can handle. What the fuck else did I do? For the last seven fucking weeks, I went golfing once and I went to a football game. That's it. Other than that. You go to a football game. You went to Vegas. You had a whole, like, Vegas trip. I'm not saying that you were out all night carousing because I know you don't do that. I wasn't. I was in Bally's coughing my fucking brains out. And and I'm, I'm, I'm worried about the person who has that fucking room after me. Oh, were you worried about us when you were coughing into the blanket that we have on the couch that we all snuggle with? When you were coughing into it? Oh, let's get into that. Let's get into that. Then when I said to you, stop coughing into the blanket, you had the nerve to be annoyed at me and like look at your your brother and be like, can you fucking believe this? Like like it's wild. Because I'll tell you, once you knew, you knew I, but you knew I was fucking sick. You knew I was, time out. 
You knew I was fucking sick. Yes. And then when you knew I had pneumonia, you were still going, can you help bring the fucking kids table up from the basement? Can you put the fucking star in the tree? Can you do this? Every time I sat down, you made me get up like lies. I was fucking. It's not lies. Lies. Oh, my God. All right. All but right. when you, this, okay. and this whole thing was after I had forced you to go to urgent care and sat in urgent care and waited with you while you got everything. You didn't force me. I had the time to do it, and I did it. That does, but this is my point. You have to make the time for your health. I can't care more. No, that is you. right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Okay. But I'm saying and you can, you, can, you can I finish no, a no, fucking thought? No, you can't. You have a history of not taking the time to take care of yourself. And then when it gets really, really bad, somehow I'm at fault because I'm not taking care of you enough. All right. Time out. When the fuck, when was the last time I got that fucking sick? Years. Yeah. Years. Years. Yeah. I got COVID this earlier this fucking year. I was I was a gem. I didn't fucking say anything. I had no pity party. I didn't fucking anything. All you right. You weren't as sick with COVID as you were with the pneumonia. That's for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you were still the fucking job bank, just giving out fucking jobs like I was at the unemployment office. I don't understand why this idea of you being like an equal partner in this relationship and having like duties. I'm not an equal life. partner. I'm your personal assistant. You're not my. Personal and I feel assistant. like women. A lot of you think that we're babies when we get sick because you guys go fucking above and beyond when the kids get sick. But when your husband gets sick, you're just looking at it like, why is the personal assistant not personally assisting right now? No, that's not what it is. It's because you are, you guys are fucking stubborn about doing what you need to do in order to get sick and to get better. Providing then, a, 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 a providing for a family. It, it, no. Everybody, that's providing for a family. Finishing a tour in a fucking movie. Go. No, that's not what you it is. You think if I had all the November off, I wouldn't have gone over to fucking urgent care? You took time off from doing ADR because you were sick. So you were clearly made a choice to not go do certain work. But I didn't realize I was that sick. I know. But my point is you still have to like do that every single time. And then when it gets worse, that's when it starts. I feel like. So then when it gets worse. And babyish happens when from the jump, you should have been doing the things that I've been telling you. And we go through this every time you get sick. Wait, get the fuck out of it. When did I complain? (laughs) That whole fucking time. Wait a minute. Get the fuck out of it. I never complained. Okay, when would you say that you started complaining? When you, you started to feel like somewhere along the line, I just sort of like left you out to dry and like didn't care about you. I felt that once we knew I had pneumonia, mm-hmm. I thought that I was going to get pneumonia attention. And I felt I got head... Williams pneumonia? William, Williams and pneumonia. <laughs> you immediately gave me a hilarious nickname. But I didn't feel like I got even remotely... I, I got, like, you, you treated me like I had a fucking sore throat. You got me going up and down a goddamn ladder on a fucking tree? What's wrong with you? I didn't have you. What, what did you up and down? I just asked you to put the star on the tree. Knowing I had pneumonia. Can I ask you a question? Do you have the ability to unfold a fucking step you ladder? Were, time out. Time out. I'm not out. tall enough. Huh? I'm not tall enough. I tried to do it myself. I'm not tall enough. And the tree you got was leaning back, so I couldn't get the top. I'm not I tall I got the enough. fat Joe one. The what? I got the fat Joe tree. Lean back. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) All right, whatever. You know, I'm not going to fucking ask you for shit. How about that? Phoebe. You fucking warm-ass goddamn bagel. That looked like somebody fucking stepped on it. I hope you know. The only thing that was missing was that bullshit saran wrap that you find at those fucking things where you got that that tuna fish sandwich. You know those pre-made sandwiches at the airport? That's what the fuck he sent up. Happy pneumonia. I... Did what I needed to do. Yeah, you took and a glass of you. water and you put two fucking cold medicine things in there. <laughs> you gave me some bullshit bagel with fucking half a flounder on it and some capers. <laughs> and you said, go to fucking urgent care. And other than that, we're just going to progress like it's normal fucking business. Mm-hmm. You're still going to do all the fucking jobs I need you to do. What I need you to do for the fucking holidays and when you're when everything's finally all set and the family's sitting down and fucking the Grinch is carving up the fucking goose you then said to me and I said I got a splitting headache you go well, go to bed yeah yeah I get the fuck out of here after I did all of that work unbelievable did all that work you brought the table up with my father's help it's not like you did it by yourself you had somebody else helping you put it up you could have easily done that with him that it wasn't heavy it was just awkward I was doing other stuff. What? To prepare oh, for delegating? the delegating? Is delegating? How many calories do you burn delegating? I don't know. I hope it's a lot, though, because I do a lot of delegating. You are a good delegator. So bringing the t- a child's 
size table up with my father and putting a star, see what she's doing there. See what she's doing, tree, knocking it down. Is asking you to do all these jobs. Oh no, there was all kinds of other fucking things. Like what? I don't remember. Every time I sat down, How you're like, convenient. "Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you like?" Literally, is my ass hit the fucking seat? Don't cough into the blanket. Put the star on the thing. Can you help with this? Can you fucking go get this? Why would you cough into the blanket on the couch that we all snuggle with? You coughed into the blanket and you got annoyed with me for telling you to not cough in the blanket. That's not why I got annoyed. Why I got annoyed was the 90 things that preceded that. And then on top of that, you're talking to me about how I need to be sick. Okay. It was. How you need to be sick. Yeah. Like don't cough here. Cough over there. (laughs) Just saying not to cough in the blanket. Fine. Well, clearly we are still there was have some, very different. Opinions. I thought there was something that in that fine. I thought there was something in that fine. What do you mean? It made my heart like, you know, you know, warm a little bit. Okay. You went fine as if you could maybe see just a little bit. Phil, a little bit. Phil, you know that I'm obsessed with you. You know that I want you to be healthy. I want you to be okay. Whenever you feel sick, I feel like I am very much there to be like, take this, take this, take this. Okay, time out. Beyond time that, out. I don't really know. I, I have to get over the shock of the word obsessed. You're obsessed with me? Not like to you, to your face, but like. To oh, other that people. shit. <laughs> Will you say all these wonderful things to other people, but never to me? I guess so. So I can keep my insecurity up so I can write another hour and go on the road. You guys like me? Do you still like me? Is that, is that the method of the fucking? All right, let's get on to something better. <laughs> you crushed it with the holiday music. I still love you. All right? Of course you do. Yeah, we all have our shortcomings. You're not good with pneumonia. I still, oh God, <laughs> and neither are you. And I still love you. I had it. Yeah. Who's good with pneumonia? What was I supposed to be doing? <laughs> going to the, oh, man. This Nia, is I happen. was going down the fucking stairs. I was cleaning out the fucking drains when, when it was going to rain out here so we wouldn't have a goddamn fucking shit backing up in the goddamn driveway with fucking pneumonia. And all I had for nourishment was that airport fucking <laughs> bagel you gave me. I was trying to give you a soft bagel sandwich, not a crunchy thing. I was trying to make a soft, but you didn't like it. So that's fine. But I didn't bring those bagels. Nah, it looked like the, it looked like the fucking guy who drove over with those bagels had his elbow on it, on the armrest. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about the bagel sandwich. But okay. like I said... The when presentation comes, was a fucking zero. Okay, the presentation was a zero. But I also had to make a bagel board for everybody else and do the whole thing, okay? So well, just maybe like, next time. slack on the, the maybe, lack of like perfect bagel. Wait, we're talking about... You fucking post made it. What are you... On, on, the, on, on the, the bagel board? I you fucking You, you, you just it. Un- took friend, it out of a brown paper bag. My friend's father... My, my dad's friend brought it over. All those bagels over for us as like a happy holidays thing. So okay. I, I made that bagel from the So you answered a brought. door. No, he came over and had dinner. I was like, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, you didn't like the bagel, fine. But I need you to not be going on your podcast and telling people that I'm not taking care of you when you're sick because that is not true. What are you talking about? That's it led, it led to this podcast and everybody laughing at you, trashing me. I don't know. I just feel like they're going to think there's just two people yelling at each other and it's not going to be. Entertaining. What are you talking about? First of all, I'm I'm I'm, I'm taking all this time off, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm excited. Yes, about spending time with you. Yes, I'm excited too. All right, you've never been. You're like for you to be as home as long as you are. That's never happened in our relationship that you've been home that long. You've Other than COVID, the but then that there was oh yeah that course. wasn't comfortable because we didn't know what was going to happen. Right. Um. But now we know. Now we know what's going to happen. Half the country's going to do one thing. The other half's going to do the other thing. And they're all going to yell at each other. And everybody's 100% right, even though nobody's a doctor. And if the doctors say something, then you don't listen to it because they're <laughs> fucking pieces of shit. But somebody who isn't a doctor actually has your back. That's what right. I learned throughout all of that yes. shit. Um, anyway, and if people want to do that, I don't give a fuck at this point. I, I really don't. Are I, you feeling better? Oh, hmm. wait a minute. Wait a minute. We didn't talk about before you knew you had pneumonia, I was able to get you some medication, some like antibiotics and stuff through my doctor. We didn't talk about that. Did you mention that? Yeah, that but no, because you did that. You did that because you were sick and then you got me some too. So you don't, no. you, you don't get 100% credit no, on that one. No, 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 no. That's not how it came up. It was you were sick and you can go back and I can, again, I can pull up the receipts and you can see Pull it the up. text message to my daughter Pull it up. saying, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. Do you have Nia Renee Hill, help? name that tune. Pull it up. All right, I'll pull it up right now. 
All right, but before we do, no, I want to talk about uh, you know, I you you always crush it with the holiday music. Uh huh. And what was that new album that you had? The, yes, the new- my gift is you by Sinelu. That's my friend Angelique Sinelu. She goes by Sinelu. That's C I N E L U. And one of those little slash things there. An amazing like jazzy holiday album that is just so good. Like it's no, it was great because so I'm so sick talented. and I'm so sick of all those other fucking songs. The same and then holiday and then when I whenever somebody like puts out a holiday album i feel like everybody's trying to be like well mariah carey gets fucking paid everything i i you know and it's just they they just they just do like a standard and it always stinks and you just end up going back to the same fucking five songs that i am so goddamn sick of Mm -hmm. and uh then you put that thing on i was immediately i was like who's this Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so you got a talented friend there oh she's amazing so i suggest everyone it's it's available on itunes so next year and spotify next year because nia Everywhere always you get music she knows all the cool shit so next year um you know if you want to be that person with the interesting hollywood party uh christmas party I said mm-hmm. holiday Hol- yeah. holiday is what i want to say holiday party like ooh. yeah who is this? Yeah, download her album now. It's still kind of holiday-ish. People still have their lights up. Give it a listen. It's really chill, and it's actually just good music to have on. It doesn't feel like, oh, God, here comes this Christmas I love the album. She chill. sings one one of them. She sings all in French. Yes. Which, which what song was that one? She sings Silent Night in French. I mean, come on. It's beautiful. Come on. It's really no, you beautiful. want to have Clash? <laughs> download that. All right. Let me do the... Uh... But just to go back to the point I was originally making, I did get you medication before we knew that it was... And it was like from a doctor. So again, the narrative that I'm not <laughs> taking care of you and I'm not on top of it when you're sick is completely false. And I need you to say that. No, no, no. That, I'm not, right I'm now. Not, I'm not the main... You was, you were saying... the trolls that already don't like me. And you're like, and she, and she made him a terrible bagel. I'm going to be hearing about this fucking bagel sandwich for all of 2023. I know all of you listening are so excited to throw this bagel Can I tell you something? First of all, 99% of them are excited that you're on because they love listening to you trash me, which you did. <laughs> and I wasn't saying that you didn't take care of me. It was that you were suggesting that on some level I was having a fucking pity party when I had pneumonia it's just you know that i think that's a, that's a little you know <laughs> but by the way i cr- you crushed it for christmas thank you that patriot starter jacket the reissue starter jacket you know what and on the inside they have like stitched in there i don't know if you saw it all their super no. bowl champions no championships I just knew you, wanted a, you wanted a starter jacket and i remember in eighth grade like the boys that had starter jackets like those were like those were like the cool guys. The well, I'll tell you guys. this. Every guy that I showed that to, all, all my buddies back east, back my family back east, family back they east. all flipped out like, dude, that's the fucking shit. <laughs> so there you go. Um, all right. What else? You I got, got you a lot of good gifts. This you week. got me an espresso cappuccino machine. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about that for a second? Okay. I am. Uh, You're welcome. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm What's really excited. the problem now? <laughs> What are we going to complain about now? What's the issue? The issue <laughs> is that I've told you before, I can't bring the devil in the house because the devil wins. Okay. And the issue is mm-hmm. I'm going to learn how to make a fucking unbelievable cappuccino and espresso. And I'm, you're going to be hearing that thing going at two in the morning. <laughs> oh, and I'm like, well, I got a fucking script idea. And I'm going to be like fucking, you know, liquid cocaine bill walking around the house. And this is the thing too, you know, I'm always too wound up for you. Mm-hmm. And you went ahead and got me, I mean, you might as well just got me fucking steroids from the 80s. So why don't we put it, why don't we put it in after this break so that you're on the road and you're home and every now and again you can have your cappuccino as opposed to Oh, because to I'm locked in now, because I'm locked in now. And you're just going to be slamming it down every day. Well, no, here's the thing. I go 10 days, the first 10 days every month, I don't fuck with that shit. Okay. So that keeps me, you know, not... It keeps every it keeps all my dance. You know, if you've noticed, like I barely smoke cigars now. It's because I take those ten days off, and then I don't have it like you know, sort of clawing at me. You know, getting that scratch, you got to itch, right? Mm-hmm. So now, cigars, I have them exactly where I want them to be. They're an event, like New Year's Day. I'm hanging out at Bartnick's. Mm-hmm. You know, me, your dad, and everybody are going over there. We're gonna watch the fucking Winter Classic. Okay. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to have a root beer. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have a fucking cigar. And that's going to be it. And then, I mean, the, technically it's January 1st. So I'll just go the 2nd to the 11th. I always go like 10 days. Or maybe I just won't do anything up until, you know, whatever. The next couple of days, the next two and a half days, I won't fucking do anything. 
I'm definitely not having a cigar or anything like that. So I have all of that stuff under control. So I'll just look at that espresso machine, which I am, you know, you know, I, I, you know, I love a gadget. Yeah. So I'm very excited it's about fancy. that. Yeah, it's very fancy. And if you don't think that I'm going to get one of those fucking knitted hatted bar- baristas. Are you going to wear a beanie and like an apron and, and do the whole like hipster barista thing? I don't think I'm skinny enough to pull that off. <laughs> I think I got to go somewhere else. Although I do think there's something funny about me wearing my Pat Stata jacket. While well, making a cappuccino? Well, I, let's, let's, let's go to something else here. I am so excited to have this fucking time off because mm-hmm. I want to go to the movies with you. Mm-hmm. I yes. want to walk down the street and hold your pretty little fucking hand. I can't wait. Talk about the movies. Yes. And do all... That's all I want to do. Yeah. All I want to do. I did two years worth of work last year and ended in pneumonia. Mm-hmm. And I'm taking a couple of months off. And you. I'm hanging out with you. And, uh, I mean, I might be fucking juiced up from that machine. <laughs> Here's my question, though. Are you still going to do spots around town or are you just going to, like... Nothing. No, no, I have to do, because I got to keep the act where it needs to be. So yeah. there's sort of these outside rooms or whatever and the store that I feel like once a week I'm going to run my 90 minutes that I have. Mm-hmm. And then I'm also kind of going to fuck around and, you know, maybe try to write like a new hour just to do it, yeah. just to fuck around. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to worry that I'm going to be in your hair the whole time, even though we do have a new show. Yes, that we're watching. Uh, George and Tammy. George and Tammy. Oh, my God. Are you guys watching George and Tammy on Showtime? It's really good. It's incredible. We're like, we're behind. So we're like, you know, we're, we're watching, we're it. We're watching it every yeah. night. Yeah, we're just watching it every night to like get fully caught up. But it's really good. It is romantic in the beginning, sort of. But then it's like, I don't know. It's totally romantic. I'm just looking at him like, just lay off the booze, dude. You yeah. just... And treat her like a queen. You're going to be fine. Right. Because you see it. Like, the two actors that are in that, the way they play that chemistry. Their but, chemistry is amazing. Is insane. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. That was funny last night when we went going to bed. And I was saying, like, uh, and you said to me, "Go, do you really think that's a love story? And I was, Yeah, it was romantic. Yeah. Romantic. And I was sitting there going, like, oh, God. What's the right I, answer? I, yeah, what's the right answer? <laughs> because I feel like it is. But he also just, you know, slammed the board game off in front of all of her friends. Stupid fucking game. And then, you know, we got like a little handsy when he got drunk. Mm-hmm. Um, a little handsy? He threw her into the side of the wall. He threw her into the side of the house. I feel like as long as no... <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just, just, just proceed with caution here. I what feel else? if that was hockey, that's two minutes roughing. It's not or hockey. Or maybe boarding. It's not hockey. It's not five minutes for fighting. It's not hockey. It's the, no. the, the comparison is not. If George did that accurate. to Crosby, let's compare Crosby Ooh. to Tammy Wynette, right? Okay. Sidney Crosby? Crosby. He's this big pouty lip guy that plays for Pittsburgh. Okay. That, you know, complained a lot. Now he's cool because now he's sort of older and he has a mean streak in his game. But, you know. Okay. He was kind of like if a guy in a boy band was like the greatest hockey player on earth. And then you had the other guy, you had the Russian there, over Ovechkin, over in uh, Washington, okay, D.C. Okay, so it was okay. kind of like Rocky IV all right, all right, all right. So, with a Canadian and a Russian. All right, great. So anyway, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm just saying, if that was a hockey game, he would get two minutes for that. And if that was Bergeron or a goal scorer... Like I feel Tammy Wynette is. She's, I feel like, you know, she's good with the stick, which is why George likes her. Oh, my goodness. Um, George would have to fight somebody either that game or down the road. There would be a price to pay. It, well, he didn't he beat her. He belligerently drunk and was violent and throwing things around uh, all over their place. And then he threw her into the side. He went beast mode. He stop went, trying to make it. He went beast mode. It was like that run. fucking sports <laughs> analogy or something. That that shit. dude that the Seattle Seahawks should have handed the ball to and didn't. Oh, God. All right. I'm leaving this podcast. What are you talking about? Because you start becoming, I don't know, uh, what is it? Sports Center or whatever whatever that shit is. And you uh, start referencing no, no, no. <laughs> What are we going to do about um, your like 50 Boston sports t-shirts that you have? How are we going to transition out of that look, out of like high school coach BB. Time out. I trained just another look 10 years ago. I don't have any. What Boston fucking shit you do don't? I have? You don't have like still all those like Patriots and Red Sox and stuff shirts in your drawer? No. You don't have that? You got rid of all I of got those? them shrink wrapped under the bed there. Uh, oh, is that what those are? Yeah, those are jerseys oh, and all okay. kinds of shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you were like, dude, you, you're fucking dressing like a sixth grader. 
And I you was look like a, a, a coach, like a like a little league coach. Like it just That's what you said, and I was like, you know what? She's right. <laughs> My dad always had a suit on with fucking gold toed socks and wingtips. Like I should Gold toed socks. Yeah. Oh gold toed socks, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I should be dressing more like a fucking adult. I, I went with you on that. Mm -hmm. I feel like you and my dad have that in common because my grandfather was always very dapper and always dressed up. And I think there's something about that that my dad wanted to rebel against. But you see, I had to like upgrade his shit a little bit too because he was getting a little too... My Slack. my dad was not dapper. He just had a suit because he had a suit job. And then he came right. home and had no casual clothes and would just strip down to his tidy whities oh and t-shirt God. and walk around the house like that with socks on. With he would no pants on. No, my whole childhood. If he was home, he was just walking around in his underwear. All right. Because he had no shorts or whatever. Jeans? He has jeans now. I've seen him wear Yeah, jeans. he has jeans now, but he didn't back yeah, he then. He didn't back then. No, he didn't. He just fucking walked around... <laughs> And the tidy whities. Yep, the tidy whities, full yeah. on seventy style. Well, that's yeah. what you did. You had a company car. <laughs> that's what you did. You came home. You got out of your slacks. You used to sit down at the dinner table. It was in his underwear forever. And it was finally oh like my God. we finally at one point my mother brought it up. It was just like no, like some one of my brothers brought it up. It was like Do you realize like because we it was just he'd been doing it since we were little kids. We never noticed. It was finally our teen years. We finally looking at him like. Dad, why do you come to the fucking table in your underwear? <laughs> if you he all... used to walk around, and when you would fuck up, he would come in in his underwear and socks. And hey, you. what the fuck's going on in here? <laughs> Have you finished your homework? Well, why not? And you, I would sit there talking to him like he had clothes on. <laughs> do you think if you and your brothers came downstairs in your underwear... To eat that he would know. That's what my mother can. said. My mother said one night we should all come downstairs. All come down and see if he even noticed. And like oh, he, he would laugh right and now. he wouldn't give a fuck. Right. Yeah. He never gave. I told you that time we we actually made him watch the Great Santini, thinking that he would get it that he could ease up a little bit and he didn't. He thought the guy was great and then he just walked around the house going, "I am the Great Santini." I don't know what what that is. That's this Robert Duvall one where he's okay. this military guy, a guy's guy. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know how to ease up at home, and he's overly harsh and doesn't need to be. And this was our little, hey, Dad, hey, maybe you could take your foot off the accelerator. Right. You know, but, but you know, he, so he went away with it. <coughs> the other lesson, which is like he watched it like it was a feel good movie. <laughs> you know, it was a, 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 a rom com, whatever the fuck they say, but whatever. You know, he, he, the man grew up in the forties and fifties. He, he did a great job. Um. So anyway. Uh, let me do some of the reads here for this week. So I don't. How long is this podcast going to be? You don't want I, this is this is the thirty minute podcast, right? I don't want to take up too much time there. Thirty two minutes. All right. We crushed it. And by the way, I don't feel like we were just yelling at each other. Okay. I, I feel that. like we worked it out. Okay. Yeah. No, I feel good. We about worked it. it out. Next time, I will go. I don't want to get pneumonia. Do I look like the kind of guy that wants to get pneumonia? I don't. I'll, no. I'll, I'll... No, I don't think any of us want to live through that again. So why don't we? Wait. What is this? <laughs> us? Where you just made like a whole bunch of people. Well, I guess the people in the podcast. I are think sick the of goal me. for 2023 is that we've got to get you like a doctor, but we have to get you someone. Dude, I'm not getting like... a fucking doctor. <laughs> <laughs> someone that you can call and who could call it because you are on the road all the it's time. It's simply safe, everybody. You're shaking people's hands and doing all this shit. You need to be healthy, so we need to work on getting somebody that's going to be accessible for you as soon as you start sniffling. Someone can be right there. And why do you want? Why do you want to do that for me? Because I love you. Thank you. And I don't want you to be... Thank you. ...under the weather. Exactly. Uh, even a little What's bit. What's not to I love? I don't want that. What's not to love? Simply safe, everybody. I have time for that. <laughs> <laughs>